it's your girl Kelly. Today we're just gonna get ready because today's sort of a big day. And um, also I just feel super lazy today. I used a face mask earlier this morning and um, I'm just wiping out some dirt out of my skin before makeup so it's nice and smooth and I'm just gonna use the Ordinary's um, rose hip oil yes this stuff is gold um, it's great for hyperpigmentation I'm just gonna apply that before my moisturizer because my skin's already very supple but also using an oil before a moisturizer helps your moisturizer um, adhere to your skin better than using my my daytime face cream just using a small amount all over my face It looks like I'm being very aggressive to my skin, but I am not. I'm actually massaging it at the same time, and it feels great. And I'm having really um good skin day these days, so I don't really need much coverage, and I enjoy um, my natural texture and color during the summer. So I'm just going to use minimal base makeup today. I'm just going to use some concealer to um, brighten up the under eye area, and conceal the dullness around the mouth around the nose oh my god I look crazy and we're just gonna blend with a brush um, I do like using my beauty sponge but for this um, this brush seems really effortless and just does the job really quickly and easily so I just prefer using brush these days, especially I'm not wearing any foundation whatsoever. And then I'm using a lighter concealer, which is like a very light, fair, pinkish concealer. Just gonna highlight some high points on my face. This will create, um, when you use a very small amount, um, you can definitely sheer out the concealer. So this can create a very seamless transition to concealer to your skin. So concealer becomes almost undetectable and it's just like your natural contour of your face. So this is a little cheating method, I would say. And then we're gonna let that sit. I like to give my concealer some time to set on its own before I powder so I can use less powder. I wanna go for a little uh, more natural brow look. So I'm gonna use a pencil that is like a really light brown, dirty blonde-ish color. Let's see how this works out. And I'm not going to exa um, exaggerate my arches too much today. Instead, I'm gonna try to create a more straight-ish brows. If I can, I really um, draw my brows straight, but we'll see how it works. I am doing what I can work in with what I have because sometimes I find that the straight brows um, gives you the very professional and chic appearance and that is as good as it gets and I'm pretty happy with um, 
what it looks like. So I'm just gonna set it with my clear, clear mascara. Make sure you take off the excess, then set it. First, you get upwards. Let me bring you guys a little bit closer. Upwards. You see it shows your natural brow texture and each strand stands out more. That is so chic, I love this. All right, first we are going to draw sort of a guideline just very um, effortlessly. We don't need anything precise because we're gonna blend everything. I'm just using a bronze pencil to just create a line there. That looks crazy, but don't you worry. This will ensure that your shadow eyeshadow <laughs> lasts longer and shows a more vibrant on your lids. And I'm gonna use Max Soba. It's, a, it's my everyday color almost. Starting from the outer corner, draw a little mini circle like this and then blend inward. And try not to touch this area because I wanna use something else for that part. Just like that. You guys happy that I brought you in a little bit closer? Might help you see what I'm actually doing better. Draw a circle again so you know where the darkest part should be and then bring it inwards and upwards. There you go. And then using this um, this color right here, this olive color, this pearly olive color, we're gonna line where we just used the eyeliner pencil. Oh, and try not to go overboard with, um, so this um, khaki shadow stays within the golden, the bronzy eyeliner, so it looks very nice and diffused when it's done. We're just basically darkening up. All right, and in my eyes have gained significant depth, and I love that. All right, and moving on, and we're also going to use a dense brush, and we're going to use a either matte or slightly shimmery um, dark brown color to deepen the outer corners of the eyes, just like this. And bring it slightly upwards so there is no harsh line between this khaki and soba. Like this. Again on this side as well. Make sure to stay within the outer corner. make sure they're even and we are going to blend again the whole eye look with a little bit of soba to make sure that everything is nice and seamlessly blended start from outside and just gently sweep across the lid maybe just tap a little bit here too, start from the outer corner, gently sweep. And there you go. All right, that looks really dark, but when we smoke it out, including our lower lash line, it's gonna look much better. For the lower lash line, I'm using a little blender brush. And just gonna sweep soba all across the lid, not the lid, lower lash line like so and then we're going to use this beautiful 
golden speckled shadow on the center of our lids. Just press it down right here, like so. It's not the most dramatic shadow, but it's gonna diffuse the bronze eyeliner pencil, the khaki shadow, and everything so nicely. Ta-da! And then I am going to fill in my lower lash line with a black eyeliner. I'm using a Marc Jacobs eyeliner. Um, and I go very light-handed with it because I never really use black eyeliner black eyeliner ever on my lower lash line but when I do um, it is because I'll have more dramatic looks and it's gonna make my eyes look way 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 bigger it's gonna photograph better and then just blend it with a thin brush just like this and try to stay um, outside of actual lash line so your eyes can actually look bigger. Just use your finger and then lightly draw outside your waterline like so. It kind of looks scary but don't you worry we're gonna blend everything. If it looks a little too dark just take a q-tip and blend it up. When you're done curling your lower lashes take the same brush you blended the um, black eyeliner with and then take some of the same khaki eyeshadow and then we're gonna lightly go across the black eyeliner I think khaki is a very beautiful color for um, brown eyes yeah that's it and then um we're gonna take a rose gold eyeliner pencil and then fill in the um lower lash line outside um it's like right below where you applied the black eyeliner and khaki shadow to give it more definition and a pop just like so. Using the same rose gold um, eyeliner pencil, just fill in your um, lower waterline. Super hard to do. So your eyes look bigger. It's like important. So important. All right, and then we're gonna apply mascara. And then I had it to a voiceover for this part. I'm just using Max Honey Lust and pop that onto my inner corners to brighten my eyes. This makes your eyes look bigger and I just love the sparkle and I just feel prettier. And then I'm just slightly contouring my nose. All right, and then I'm gonna use a highlighter that I forgot to use actually. Just get a little bit on the back of my hands and warm it up with my finger and just stamp on the high points on your cheekbones on your chin on the tip of the nose on the nose bridge and with the leftover right underneath your brows just to give it that pop 
All right, I think I'm happy with the highlighter. I'm going to set everything in place using a mineral powder. And just set everywhere. So your face looks nice and uniformed, especially around the nose area. Dun dun! Okay, this is set. I'm gonna use a bronzer. Like, warming up cheekbones, jawline, jawline. Sonic weird. On to the other side as well. On my face, let's more color. And I like how it looks. And then I'm going to use my favorite bronzer. This is Nars's Orgasm Dupe. And I love it. I'm gonna literally apply this all over my cheeks. Starting from right underneath the eyes. And slightly bringing it downwards and connecting this, sort of like blending this into my bronzer. And I like some intense pigment when it comes to um, my blush because it is summer. And then I like more color on my face. Then this just makes your um, face look like it's actually blushing and like like you just went to run for like an hour or so healthy glow all right and then last step is the lipstick I'm using speed dial by color pop oh that is dark Using a Q-tip, I'm just going to blend it. My lips are pretty dry and chapped right now, so this is definitely not the best thing to use. But I like the color, it's dark muted peach. and that is it that is the look I hope you guys enjoy this thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye